Hello there and welcome to my channel. I'm Christian and you're watching a dev story. I've been covering lately certain topics on computer science that might be useful for in general to know more about computer science, but also specifically if you're preparing for a clinical interview. I've been covering data structures, uh, complexity analysis and algorithms. And I've been covering especially sorting algorithms and searching and traversing algorithms. And sadly, I had half enough time to talk about many other important algorithms that are very, very useful in general, but specific for technical interviews. But I will mention them in this video, show you a little bit a quick description about what they do and how they do it. And, but this will be a very short video. So um, I, will, I will refer you to other links uh, to look for. But if you're interested and, and want to know more about an algorithm and would like me to explain that bit, then just mention that on the comments and I will try to make some time to, to create a new video talking specifically about that algorithm. I, I will mention them really quickly. One of these algorithms that is very useful is selection ranking and it basically allows you to find what is the i smallest element in a list. And the, the way that it does is, is that you kind of use a pivot and then I split the list and try to find where the element will fall. And this is very similar and it's used in, in QuickSort, for example. If you need to implement by yourself some randomizer, let's say with some shuffling, one of the best algorithms for doing that is uh, the fisher Yates algorithm. That basically what it does is to, you have the full list. You pick one, num one random number and, and move that outside of the list. And then uh, you have the rest of the list available for you to repeat the algorithm and you can do it n times and start removing elements until you have the full uh, array or list uh, shuffled. So when we go through other algorithms uh, in terms of graphs, for example, Dijkstra is, is very important algorithm that allows you to find the shortest path between two nodes. A quick tip here, if you have an unweighted graph, then BFS, BFS will be enough to find the shortest path. The trick using uh, Dijkstra is to have a, a heap or a priority queue to always have uh, always visit first the nodes that uh, the, the vertex that have a minimum estimated distance and and connect from there. Then you have the Bellman four algorithm that is uh, an algorithm that computes the shortest path from a single source vertex to all of the other vertices in a weighted graph. And the algorithm basically is basically for each vertex, iterate through all of the edges and compare if the path is the shortest. One of the good things about the Bellman 4 algorithm is that even though it's slower than Dijkstra to find the shortest path, it's actually more versatile because it's capable of handling graph in which some of the edges have negative weights. Um, we also have the floyd warshall algorithm that is used to uh, determine the shortest path among all pair of vertices in a graph. And here you can see also the algorithm to, to implement it. And of course, we also have minimum spanning trees like uh, the Prims algorithm or the cruise color algorithm that you can check them in, in the guide directly. But the, of course, there are infinite number of algorithms, but let's say that these are some of the most important ones that are very useful for a technical interview. And one algorithm that is especially useful to find all the prime numbers lower than n is the sieve of eratosthenes. And this, uh, well, it's a very nice algorithm. If you want to take a look into it, just uh, check out my guide or check out uh, directly Wikipedia. And I will also put some other sources uh, below. And that's it for today. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope this was interesting. If you want to know a little bit more about any of these algorithms and you want me to do some videos about it, just uh, mention that on the comments. And of course, uh, check, that, check out the links in the description. Uh, check out my guides if you're interested. And if you like the video, like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much, and see you next time.